We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi everyone. So, yeah. It's Jess from Nose in a Book. It's been a long time. How are you, my dear, dear friends that I have missed? I have not been on YouTube. I have not been on anything really. I've kind of tried to post on Twitter, I've like failed at Instagram. Everything has failed this last couple of months. I haven't even been watching YouTube videos, so I apologize. I'm going to try to catch up, but it seems like a completely useless task. I have so many videos in my need to watch list. I don't even know if I'll ever catch up with them, but I just thought I'd give you a quick update video and see how you are doing. So, today is New Year's Day, perfect day to film a video, um, and I am going to film a what I got for Christmas video, and that way you guys can see all the goodies I got for Christmas. It won't be everything, because there's actually a few things I have like in the wash and like in the dishwasher and a couple of things like that, that I, I tried to track down everything. <laughs> um, but just so you guys know, one of the reasons I've been absent for a while is because I got really sick and had really no voice and so I couldn't really talk to a camera <laughs> and then the other big reason was just because I've been super busy with the holidays I just haven't had time and any time that I had I was usually filling up with some other holiday activity that wasn't filming <laughs> and I had so many great plans for videos that I wanted to do during the holidays and they just did not happen so here's to 2017 videos for the holidays being better so we'll see we shall see so Without further ado, let's get right into the things I got for Christmas. So I had a really great Christmas this year. Um, my family sometimes has some crazy drama and it was actually really toned down this year. There wasn't anything super crazy happening. And um, we, got, uh, we got to see cousins that I haven't seen in forever. And it was just a really good Christmas. So I will kind of show you some stuff I got from all my different friends and stuff that I got to hang out with during the holidays. So the first present that I got for Christmas was from one of my oldest friends. We've known each other since the eighth grade. And um, so recently she actually went to Hong Kong and also to Japan and she brought me back this awesome pen. So it is a adorable little geisha clicky pen. It is so cute and it actually writes really, really well. I used it to write some Christmas cards and stuff. So if you're watching this, Sarah, thank you for my awesome present. I love it. All right, so then the next thing I actually got, so a couple of these I got before Christmas because I was hanging out with friends. So one of my other oldest friends, we have been friends since high school and have just kind of recently reconnected again. We never like completely lose touch, but like, you know, he'll move or I'll move or we'll be like, you know, hey, it's been six months since I've talked to you. How are you? Um, so he actually recently moved really close to me, which is because awesome, I've seen him twice in like this month so it's been really great because I hadn't seen him for like a couple months between the last time and this time so anyways but he got me this beautiful leather journal I believe he got it at Barnes and Noble but um, it, it's just a really thoughtful gift and it says on there the world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page by St. Augustine and he knows how much I love books and also how much I love traveling. And it was just kind of a good start to the year of something that I will eventually start. And you can kind of see it's lined that I will eventually start kind of a new chapter. And we were just talking about like new chapters in our lives. And it was just a really great gift and a really thoughtful present. So, so on to some presents that I got on Christmas Day. So my family has like a lot of Christmas traditions, like a ton of them. Um, so we pretty much spend every Christmas at my grandmother's house and she lives really close to me So it's never been you know hard to get there except for when I work on Christmas Eve because a lot of our Christmas traditions Are on Christmas Eve and this was the first year. I haven't worked Christmas Eve in forever so um, so on Christmas Eve my family goes over to my grandma's house and we do luminarios which if you're not familiar with they're kind of like you take paper bags and you fill them a little bit with sand and then you put candles in them and you like line the street with them and light them and then it just kind of makes this really pretty like glowy effect in the bags and we actually do that down our whole street like I've seen some people do them in like their front yard or whatever we do that down her whole street and all of her neighbors usually get involved in everything so this year it was really crazy because 
Like, nobody was out because it was raining and it's never rained on Christmas before. And we were like, oh my gosh, how are we gonna do this? Like, there's fire involved and it's gonna be raining and it's not gonna work. Um, but it actually stopped raining just enough time for us to do it and have them lit and it looked really beautiful. And it didn't rain again until really late Christmas Eve night. So it was like perfect, it was beautiful. So um, we got to do that and then we always have um, soup. And so my grandma makes homemade soup bowls, like bread bowls, and then we have like different kinds of soup with my family. And then after that, we'll go caroling door to door. So in her neighborhood, we've she's lived there forever, so she actually knows most of her neighbors. So she gets like a list of how many people are going to be there for like Christmas morning, and we'll package up like those giant muffins that you get at Costco, and we'll package them up and put like names on all of them and go to her neighbor's houses and carol. And my family like carols, like we sing at the top of our lungs <laughs> in like four part harmony. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. It's one of my favorite things to do on Christmas. Um, and so we got to do that. And then um, actually it was really cold. So we only got to like we got to most of the houses and then we decided to run back in and like warm up with some hot chocolate and my cousin who had just had ACL surgery was not feeling up to going so we and my dad had like had other plans for the holidays he often plays Santa Claus for the holidays so he had some like appointments he had to be at for Christmas Eve if you know what I mean um, <laughs> but anyways so we lost a few people so at the end of it it was just my grandma one of my sisters my cousin Cody and myself and we went caroling just the four of us and sang this really pretty rendition of Silent Night it was just so much fun and I just love those memories for Christmas. So that was my Christmas Eve and it was amazing and I loved it. And then Christmas morning is when we do presents. So we don't really ever do presents on Christmas Eve. We only do them on Christmas morning. So these are the presents that I got Christmas morning. So one of the first things that I got was this lovely purple bathrobe. So my grandparents always try to get us like a sweater or a bathrobe or something, so or pajamas. So this is a pretty like fluffy, uh, fluffy bathrobe. So this was really great for winter time because it's like super cozy and I've already like used it a few times in like the morning when I'm just drinking my coffee or like getting out of the shower. It's super, super cozy. So I loved it so much. And then another thing I got that I can't show you because my dog is currently sleeping on it is this really ginormous gray fuzzy blanket. Like it's like the same type of material as this, um, but it's this ginormous gray fuzzy blanket and I love it. Actually, I technically got a purple one, but my uh, sister wanted the purple one, so we traded because I love gray. So anyways, so that was a couple of things. Uh, another thing I got, one of these was in my stocking because we do do stockings on Christmas morning. Even though none of us are children, we still do stockings. So I got this awesome pocket knife, which I think everyone needs an awesome pocket knife to have in your possession for, you know, the occasional box opening or you know, orange cutting experience. So it's really pretty. It's got this lovely curved blade and it's really beautiful. And I really, really, really love it. So um, the only qualm I have is pink is not my favorite color, but apparently there were very limited choices in Santa's workshop this year. So I got pink, but it's still really awesome. So speaking of awesome knives. So when I was a kid, um, my dad has always loved like weaponry and like um, swords and knives and bows and all of that awesomeness. So like I was one of the few people that's like shot longbow and like like single shot black powder rifles and stuff like that as a kid. So one of the things we have with these really massive kitchen knives and I loved them and I also loved Inuyasha which is an anime if you're not familiar with it and he owns a sword in Inuyasha, well Inuyasha owns a sword called Tetsaiga and so I decided to name two of our knives Tetsaiga and Tensega which Tensega is the one that Seishomaru owns and um, so he gave me and one of my other sisters Tetsaiga and Tensega, and so she got Tensega, but I got Tetsaiga, so I'll show you. And obviously it doesn't look anything like the real Tetsaiga, but here you go. So it's this awesome kitchen knife. So it's really, really nice. I need to get it sharpened because it's been way too long since it's been sharpened. Here, I'll just so you can see the brand name on it. But um, it's a Cisco Wear knife, um, and it's the Connoisseur Dexter Stain-Free High Carbon 45 and 12 inch blade so it's really really beautiful and I haven't used it for my kitchen because like I said I need to get it sharpened but I always loved to 
admire these as a younger person <laughs> and so to own one of them is really awesome so I really really loved it and I keep it in this awesome cardboard paper sheath so that it doesn't stab anyone <laughs> and my roommate is so funny she's like afraid of big knives so like I brought it home she was like get it away from me and it was I felt bad but at the same time it was funny so <laughs> so that's one of my awesome Christmas presents let's see what else did I get from there. So I know there were other things that I got from there. My sister got me a mug that is currently in the dishwasher and then I also have like a pair of like fuzzy socks and a couple of other things that I just couldn't find them so I'm guessing I wore them and threw them in the laundry and I just couldn't find them. So I did get a few other things from that part of my Christmas and it was just a lot of fun. Um, we always have a blast during Christmas time with my family and my grandma really makes it super special for us. So, um, and I just love it and my grandpa makes it super, super special too. I have so many memories of like sitting in the car singing Christmas carols with them and it's just so much fun. So, um, so that was my main Christmas event. And then my mom, because my parents are divorced, um, we, she usually is not around for Christmas. That usually does not go over well with the rest of the family. So we had kind of a separate Christmas. So her and my sister got me some presents. So the first couple that they got me, I felt really bad about because I haven't been really using one of the things and the other thing I actually already got myself so I felt really bad about but so one of the things they got me was really thoughtful they got me this whole set of Japanese cherry blossom like the bath um the body wash and the body spray and the lotion from Bath and Body Works and I loved this scent when I was in high school I loved it loved it loved it so much and I literally wore it all the time and I since then have wanted to get it again and then I went into Bath and Body Works and I decided to just spritz some on and like walk around the mall with it and it just didn't smell the same as I remembered it. I don't know if they changed the formula or if it just mixes different with my skin currently but I just didn't love it as much as I remember loving it and I had just come to that conclusion and then they got me this beautiful set so um, I felt really bad but I will try it again and maybe like maybe it was just a weird you know the tester had been old or something like that who knows so maybe I will end up loving it as much as I used to um, right now I've been wearing the YSL black opium perfume which is a really high quality beautiful perfume and I love it so much it's like grown up Japanese cherry blossom I love it <laughs> but um, this one I used to love so much so I'm gonna try it again and just see if I still love it as much as I used to but it was really thoughtful of them and the next one I felt really bad about because I had already purchased it for myself, but it is that Jane Austen coloring book that you've seen in one of my previous haul videos if you've watched that. But it's so beautiful and I felt so bad because it's got so many lovely um, pictures in it. So I might eventually do like a giveaway for this coloring book for all of my lovely friends on here who might want a Jane Austen coloring book. It's so beautiful and I've already colored some pictures in the one that I own, so that might Come, coming to a YouTube channel near you 2017 sometime I don't know when <laughs> when I can afford to ship things that's when maybe I'll wait till I can add some other things to it but so that is one of the things I got and then these were kind of a hand-me-down present so my sister got these and they just didn't fit her right so they are these amazing ginormous slipper socks from Torrid and I love them they're like knitted yeah, I don't know if you can see that and super super long and I haven't worn them yet because Contrary to popular belief. It is not winter feeling in Arizona during December Just these last couple of days. It's been in the 50s, but for every other day. It's been like the 70s. So I don't need beautiful wool socks that are amazing so hopefully I will get a chance to wear these before summer hits again in you know March when summer hits. <laughs> so there are those, and I really love those. And then I also got, like I said before, I love Inuyasha, so my sister got me this awesome Inuyasha button, and I love him. And then also from Hot Topic, she got me this beautiful Jolly Roger pirate ship necklace from Peter Pan and you all know how much I love Peter Pan and um, it's got the hook on it as well as the ship and you can I can just picture this like floating by my window at night it's just beautiful so um, I really really loved that 
She always tries to get me something like fan related because my youngest sister is the one we have like the most in common with like the type of stuff that we enjoy to like watching and reading and stuff. So the next couple of things go with my collection. So for those of you who don't know, I collect nutcrackers and it's partially because of my huge love for the Nutcracker story. I love the Nutcracker. I've watched like so many different versions of the Nutcracker. I love the Barbie Nutcracker. I just love the entire ballet and the story and it's beautiful and I just love it so much. So my sister always tries to get me a Nutcracker every year and this time she actually got me several. So the first one that she got me is actually this Nutcracker tin. So it's not really like a nutcracker itself, but I thought he was so adorable. For some reason, he reminds me. I know that he's not, because obviously he's a nutcracker, but he reminds me of the guy, um, the shop owner from Frozen. <laughs> he's like, hello. Like every time I look at his cute little face, I'm like, hello. <laughs> um, but he's so adorable. So within his head, look at that, um, we have some other small nutcrackers. So I'm gonna open these real quick and I'll show you. Okay. So this is a set of four porcelain nutcrackers and I wish they were ornaments because I think they make beautiful ornaments, but they're not. And so I will probably stick them on my bookshelf during the holidays or all the time. But this is the first one and he's just a cute little nutcracker. Look at that little face of his. He's adorable and I really, really love him. And then his brother, all of them are brothers, I am assuming. Um, so this one, I can't tell personally if he's like a pirate, which the sword would recommend, or maybe like a Three Musketeers type character, but I like the, the hat and everything. He's pretty cool. And then this one, he's adorable. And at first I thought that this part down here was part of his beard, but I think his beard like ends there, and then this is part of his like uniform. <laughs> but I was like, he's got like a really long Dumbledore beard, <laughs> but he's super cool. And then my favorite one, I love his face, he's so adorable, but he's such a smiley one. <laughs> he's so cute. So, so there's these four. Let me see if I can hold all four of them. These four guys, they're so cute. And then finally, for my nutcrackers, my sister got me this awesome pirate nutcracker. So he's he's a traditional, like movable, workable nutcracker. Um, and so she tries to get me one of these every year. He's got his little chest of treasure and then his eye patch right underneath the hat. And so, and his little fuzzy black hair. So he's really awesome, I love his little lace kerchief so he's really great i really love him i'm super super happy to add him to my collection so maybe next year i'll do I, one of the things i wanted to do this year was like a nutcracker collection tour so maybe i'll do that next year for one of my holiday videos <laughs> so yeah so there's my new nutcracker all right so let's see what next what next all right so now i'm gonna go on to my roommate christmas so every year my best friend and i do like roommate christmas and if you don't know my best friend is jess from frady cat and i will link her channel down below so you can go check out what she got for Christmas, cause she got some pretty cool stuff. Um, but, <laughs> so, um, and she's pretty awesome herself. So I'm gonna show you what she got me for Christmas. So we do stockings and the whole bit, so it's a lot of fun. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you is probably one of my favorite things she gets me every year. She got me a whole package of the lovely Andy's Mints. I love these, they're so delicious. They're so good, and I she tries to get me some every year, and I love them. So, I've already eaten way too many of them. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna go into any particular order of these necessarily, but one of the other things she got me was this lovely other box of chocolates. So it's this gorgeous, I think it's a German brand of chocolate, but this box is absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful little brick house with all these little Christmas scenes on it. And I just loved the box, so I can't wait to like eat it. And it's the Heidel um, chocolates. So I'm not sure if that is, I think they're German. 
but whether or not they are, this is the actual chocolates and they're like praline creams and a whole bunch of different things in there. And then that's the inside of the box. So I know that I will eat the chocolates and then I will use the box for something awesome. So, and then another thing she got me that I've been wanting forever was this perfume atomizer. And so basically you take this and you fill it with your large bottle of perfume and then you actually have a travel size of that perfume. And it just, you know, is an easy way to carry around your favorite perfume without having to buy a se separate, like, small bottle. So I was super excited about that. I've been wanting it forever. And the only thing that was kind of sad is that it is that bright pink color that I'm not in love with, but I love it so much that I don't even care. It's just, I'm super excited to use this when we travel, hopefully, eventually this year. All right, so another thing that she got me was this lovely case that says, I believe in manicures. And what is in this case, you ask? Let me show you. So there are two colors from OPI, and these are very, very special because they are part of the special edition Breakfast at Tiffany's line. And I love old movies, and I love Breakfast at Tiffany's. I love anything with Audrey Hepburn in it, really. And I was just so, so happy that she got these for me because I had literally been looking at them for myself like not too long before that and was like, I can't buy them because I'm buying Christmas presents for other people. So I was so happy that she got them for me. So this color is called I Believe in Manicures, like the bag said, and it's got that Tiffany blue. And it's absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to use it. And then the second color is called Black Dress Not Optional, and it's a lovely black color. So what I'm hoping to do is do some kind of like French manicure twist with these. So I'm super excited to use them, but I will be so happy to have them. All right, so next she got me this amazingly lovely Kate Spade pencil case. So you guys can see the books on there. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful this case is. So there's the Kate Spade logo and then you can see all the different books and there's Jane Austen, there's a ton of classics on here. I'm looking at all the different ones on here. There's so many, so there's too many good ones to name all of them, but they're absolutely beautiful. And inside of the pencil case, it came with this lovely Kate Spade eraser. And then also, the most beautiful pencil sharpener I've ever seen. It's so lovely, this beautiful golden pencil sharpener. And, this, you're gonna make fun of me for this, but I love them. These two polka dotted pencils, they're the thinnest, most delicate pencils I've ever held in my life. It's just like, every time I hold them, I feel magical and I want them to be wand of some sort or something. I just love them. So they're super beautiful, and I really, really loved this gift. And you can see the inside of the pouch is all stripey. You guys know how much I love my black and white stripes and polka dots and everything like that. So it was beautiful. So next, she also got me a copy of Madeline Perrault's Careless Love. So I really love my CDs, and I like Madeline Perrault a lot. And I don't think I've listened to this song too, too much, but I know there's a couple of songs I really love on this one. So, and she found it, she was like, I found it really inexpensive, so I thought you might want it. So it's beautiful. I love the cover. I just love her dress in the cover. It's so pretty. But she's got a gorgeous voice. And if you guys like jazziness, you'll like her. She's really great. She also got me this lovely copy of The uh, Life and Adventures of Santa Claus by L. Frank Baum, who wrote The Wizard of Oz. And I actually saw this movie, this cartoon animated movie, forever ago that I couldn't remember what it was called and I just recently found it. And then we were in a um, half price books and this was in the clearance section and she found it for me and she was like oh my gosh so she got it for me and stuck it in my stocking and it's so great I can't wait to read it before next Christmas um, and it's got the beautiful yellowed pages you can tell it's just a nice old copy and I'm super excited to read it because I remember really loving the movie which I bought but didn't get to watch this year for some reason because I was too busy so I will read and watch this for next year I'm super excited Next, she got me another Jane Austen coloring book. So this one is one I did not own already, which she knew because we bought the other ones together. Um, but this is Color Me Jane, and it's got some lovely prints 
and beautiful because it kind of tries to go through each story and so it has different characters for the different stories um, and it's really really awesome I found that they kind of tried to do enough from each book so we've got like Mansfield Park and Persuasion they tried to kind of do a different one for each one this one's for Northanger Abbey and you got your stack of Catherine's books so I was super excited to color in this one and I like that it's around the same size as the one I already own so I can stack them on the shelf together and color in them and use my watercolor colors and all of that so I can't wait to color in this next you all have probably heard by now how much I love manga and anime because I've talked about it already in this video a few times so she got me a manga series I have not yet read and it is called Go Go Heaven and it looks really interesting. I know really nothing about it, but she couldn't find the first couple of volumes. I think one, two, and three. So she has uh, been on the search for them to get them to me because she thought she'd be able to find them before Christmas. So I can't wait to get into these, but I will have to wait till I get the first three. I can't jump in in the middle. You all know how manga works. Well, if you read manga, like you know, like the by the fourth volume we're like what's happening from the first volume so um but basically from what i can tell is it is a girl who goes to heaven accidentally something like that but like she's put on trial and so then the prince of hell has to rescue her from her trial in heaven i don't know exactly but it looks really cool so i can't wait to eventually read these um and they look like really good imaginations of this and i also really like the art style because it's like kind of some of the old school manga um style so i can't wait to eventually get the first couple and read them so you will hear all about these if i enjoy them so the next two i can't wait to show you so she knows how much I love books and I, she knows about my booktube channel and how much I talk about you guys all the time. So she got me some books so that I could talk about them on here. And then I decided to share all of them with you anyways. <laughs> but, um, so this next couple are books and they're really beautiful. The first one I'm going to show you is The Art of Big Hero 6. I loved Big Hero 6. I can't even believe I was realizing when she gave me this that I don't own the movie. I thought I did and I don't own it yet. Um, but it, it was one of my favorite movies. I cried so much and I love his brother, which I don't remember his name currently, but I love his older brother and I'm not going to spoil anything just in case you haven't seen it. But if you weren't, if you haven't watched it for some reason because you were like, oh, I don't know if I like it. It's so good. It's really, really good. Um, so it's got some beautiful concept art in the hair and it's got just lovely, like, you know, precursors to the final product and all of the different characters and their concept artwork. It's just really beautiful. And one of the things that we love to do in Disneyland is go to the California Adventures, the Hollywood Boulevard, and they have the room where you go in. It's before you go into the other rooms. And on Hollywood Boulevard, it's like the Sorcerer's Workshop. And you go in, and it's like, you're just sitting in this room full of projectors and they play songs from the movies and they'll show like concept art and scenes from the movie and it's so gorgeous, it makes me wanna cry every time. And so it's like having a little piece of that like in my hand and I'm so happy. So I can't wait to like really thoroughly look through this. And the last book that I got was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Illustrated Edition. I have the Sorcerer's Stone Illustrated Edition and I had been asking and asking for this for Christmas and she complied. So it is beautiful, it is my very own, very own copy and um, there's just some lovely, even the pages that aren't specifically illustrations like are just lovely, like look at that, it's just so beautiful. Um, so I can't wait to actually get to read all of this all the way through, look at Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> and it's just amazing. So I can't wait to actually read this. And one of my goals this year is to read the illustrated editions that I have all the way through, because I haven't even read the Sorcerer's Stone of the illustrated edition all the way through. So that is one of my goals this year. All right, and the last few things I'm gonna show you are all Disney. So you all have already probably seen my lovely beast in the background of a lot of my videos who I got at the Disney store and he is beautiful. I love him, he's so cozy. So my roommate, lovely being that she is, bought me 
Belle. And she is so adorable. I just love her face. I love her beautiful green eyes. And they just go so perfectly together because he's bigger than she is. And I just love seeing them like stacked together. I just love it so much. I just want to cry. I just love it. I think I cried when she gave it to me. I just was so happy. So, and then the next couple of things she got me. I collect the um, blind box um, keychains that are Disney and they're not the pop vinyl ones, but they're kind of like that. Um, I'll show you in a second, but she actually got this one for me that was already open because she knew what it was and it is this beautiful Cinderella and I love her so much. I loved, I used to play Cinderella all the time when I was a kid and um, technically she was my sister's favorite princess, but I didn't care. I always used to like put an apron on and like take the broom around the house, probably just pushing dirt around. Um, or I would like put bigger shoes over my shoes and go outside and like throw rocks and pretending I was feeding chickens. Like I was just really crazy as a child, but I love her so much. She's so cute. And then the last three are Disney pins and they're all beautiful. So this one is the Russian doll, the Russian nesting doll of Belle. And I literally cried when she gave this to me. Um, it was just so special because, um, funnily enough, like we had been looking for these and she actually collects these ones. And so just the fact that she could have kept it for herself, but she decided to give it to me anyways, I just was like crying and I just love it so much. And it's just absolutely beautiful. And she doesn't actually have Mickey Mouse ears. That's actually the, um, the backing to the pin. So like I can turn that upside down, you won't see it anymore. But she's just absolutely beautiful and I really, really love her. So can't wait to put her in my giant binder of pins. <laughs> and then the other two were part of a set and I love them because I've never seen pins from the beginning and they were like special edition, they're gorgeous. But, so these are both from the beginning of the movie. You've got the old hag with the enchanted rose and then the beautiful enchantress. And it's all the original like stone working, not stone working, uh, stained glass working look to the pins. It's hard for you to see probably. Maybe I can get it to focus on it. There we go, a little bit better, not a lot, <laughs> but the light's kind of glinting off it, but it's so gorgeous. And then here's the Enchantress. She's just so beautiful and I really, really love her. So I was so, so amazingly blessed and just happy to get all of these beautiful presents. Um, so I know I rambled a lot in this video, but it was just a beautiful Christmas and I'm so excited to um, do some more Christmassy things. My uh, my roommate and I tend to make Christmas go longer than it's supposed to. Uh, as you can tell, we still have our tree up and we've still been watching some Christmas movies and like baking cookies and frosting them is coming next. So, um, <laughs> so we're starting off the new year right by still pretending it's Christmas. <laughs> But anyways, so that is all of the amazing things I got for Christmas. Actually, it's not even all of them, but it's all the things I have on me currently that I got for Christmas. And it was just an amazing Christmas. I hope you all had an amazing holiday and that you got amazing time to spend with the people that you love because that's really the best present that anyone can get. And I'm just super grateful to spend time with the people that mean the most to me. And you guys mean a lot to me. And I'm just so happy to finally be back and talking to you again through this camera lens. So anyways, I'm really happy to be back. I've missed you all very, very much. And I hope that you have an amazing, amazing start to your 2017. And I will see you the rest of this year with some awesome more videos. And I just love you all. So happy new year. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs>